Do you know how to submit your shipping instructions? With our e-commerce platforms MyCMA CGM, MyANL, MyAPL and MyCNC, you can organize and manage your shipments easily. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll use MyCMA CGM as the platform to guide you through the steps. This tutorial will be divided into six parts. The first part will show you how to get to the shipping instructions form. Let's begin by signing in. Upon signing in, take a look under Monitor your shipment. Click on Shipment Dashboard. Find your shipment and click on Submit SI. All available information will be auto-filled. If you are creating an SI for merged bill of lading, you can insert more than one booking reference fit by a comma. You can also submit a SI from the pick references from your booking link. You can see the list of your bookings ready for SI submission. You select your booking, confirm the selection, and you can then start. The auto save feature is automatically activated as soon as any data is filled in, or if you click on the next button, whatever the step. You can still save your draft manually by clicking on the save icon. You can resume your SI from the shipment dashboard or from the pick references from your booking dashboard by clicking on resume SI link, whether it was saved manually or automatically. Whichever way you choose to create your SI, the SI submission form will be auto-filled with information linked to the booking reference number and with your saved data in case you choose the Resume SI option. Next, Voyage and Routing Details. Here, you will learn how to manage your shipment's voyage and routing details. After receiving and keying in a valid booking reference, all information linked to the reference number will be automatically pre-filled for you. If you would like to change how the port of loading and port of discharge shows in the bill of lading, or BL in short, make the amendments here. We will now move on to shipment parties. If you have provided information on the shipment parties during the booking stage, they will show up in this step. To add a party, you can search from a drop-down list of all parties who had appeared in your previously submitted SI. Then click on Add. If a party is not on the list, click on Create a Party. Fill in the necessary information and click on Save. Do tick the checkbox in the Add Roles section to specify the party's role. You can click on the pencil icon to amend the address to be shown on the BL. Please note that for parties' information, each line must contain fewer than 35 characters. Next, container and cargo details. If these details are not pre-filled, you have the choice of filling in the form directly or using the spreadsheet option to export to your computer. You can use a previously saved goods description or create another one to save as a template. Select Yes to use the same goods description for all containers in the BL. The commodity shown is the one inserted at the booking stage. You can change this if need be. In the package details, the commodity will be pre-filled as per the booking. Please note that you have to insert the packaging in English language and then select the packaging from the drop-down list. You can also key in your preferred packaging type in the field on BL below. In this fifth part of the tutorial, you will learn how to make a payment. The payment conditions are pre-filled based on the booking. Choose your BL type and the recommended numbers will show up below for numbers of originals and numbers of copies. Please note that freighted and unfreighted BLs cannot exist together. Thus, if you choose to have three copies of freighted originals, the number in the unfreighted field will have to be changed to zero. The various commonly used BL instructions are available for quick selection. For split BL or part load, please ensure to tick the corresponding boxes in order to submit a second SI for the same booking reference. You can use this comment box to communicate any special requests or clauses to your CMA CGM agency. If you choose negotiable BL earlier, this is where you can choose bill of lading paperless for your shipment. Enter the email addresses of all parties, then click on subscribe. Please inform your shipment parties that they will receive a notification to create a web account and sign a contract to access the paperless BL. In this sixth and final part of the tutorial, 
you will learn how to view your summary and submit your shipping instructions. If you wish to amend any items, click on Edit. A reminder, please ensure that for all party information, the number of characters in each line does not exceed 35 characters. Click on Submit SI when you have reviewed all the information. After SI submission, the draft BL will be published for your review, modification and approval. A copy of the SI can be retrieved on the document dashboard after submission. Upon signing in, you will see the Notification Setup section on the right where you can subscribe and manage all your notifications. You can see the list of updates that you will receive within each category. Click on the toggle button to turn the notification on or off and check the box to receive alerts only on shipments you directly oversee. If the box is not checked, you will receive notifications for all the shipments that have been linked to your partner code. Now you know how to submit your SI through our e-commerce platforms. Start using this feature today.